Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program. And today I want to do something unusual. I want to compare a piece of shit wristwatch to a piece of quality. And I, I just wanted to sit down there and see how come a Patek Philippe Calatrava and we'll compare it to an absolute piece of fucking shit. We'll compare it to a piece of dog shit. And we'll see if you viewers can see much difference. So uh, it's going to be an interesting ride there. We're going to get on the saddle. Get into the saddle. And uh, we'll have a look at an absolute piece of fucking shit. And we'll compare it to a piece of horterology. So here we go. Does money buy substance and class? That's right, fuckers. Does money buy substance and class? So let's begin the show by looking at a piece of horterology and a piece of absolute fucking dog shit. And let's take a look. Let's compare a $20,000 watch to a $20 watch. That's right, $20,000 as opposed to um, $20. And uh, let, let, let's, let's compare the two. Compare the two. And let's let's see what what's the difference here. Well, one's in yellow gold, one's in white gold. That doesn't really mean much. But uh, oh, there we go. Look at the styling differences. And uh, you can see, you can see with the the white gold Patek, you can see it's a quality piece. It's very much a quality piece. Look at the shit, the shit strap that's on the the twenty dollar fucker. It's already starting to break. And it hasn't even disgraced somebody's wrist. And uh, just just having a look at the uh, attention to detail here. We've got a beautiful display back. And on this other piece of shit, it's made in China, fuckers. Made in China is okay. It's okay for your TV, your stereo, your uh, <clears throat> lot of shit, you know, appliances. But uh, for horterology, it's got to be Swiss. Look at the difference here. One's got a steel back. The other one's got a... Uh, it's a piece of art. This is a museum piece. Have a look at the buckles on these critters here. Look look at the two buckles. Very nasty. Nasty. The $20 one is a piece of shit. It's a piece of horological suicide. That's what it is. It's horological suicide. And... Um, it's quite interesting to compare the two pieces. The weight is very different. The Patek is a very, you know, it's it's real gold. The uh, This other piece is shit. It's just an absolute piece of fucking dog shit. So there we go, comparing the two. Uh, interestingly enough, the $20 watch is probably more accurate than the Patek. Being a quartz demon, a quartz watch there itself. But uh, what can you say there? What can you say there indeed? It's a comparison between the two. The two. Does the $20 watch compare to the $20 fucking thousand dollar watch? It's a very, very interesting, interesting debate on this one, fuckers. What do you think? Can you see a difference? What do you reckon? $20,000 compared to $20. That's right, fuckers. It's... Uh, it's a fraction of the price. Look at the tacky dial. Look at the piece of art on the Patek there. Can you see a difference between a $20 watch and a $20 fucking thousand dollar watch? And uh, even the strap, you know, the strap here. This this Patek strap is about five six hundred dollars to replace. And um, I got to tell you, it feels so different to this other piece of fucking shit. Can you see the differences, or you just tell me? I'm Archie Luxury, comparing the two. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Put that Patek back on your wrist, Archie. That's where that fucker belongs. Nice one.